This video is to show when you are in easy mode, how you can have a partial row at the top using um, the gold feature pattern eclipse. What you'll need to do is look at, at how many inches there are that you would need to nest into. So we can see that this is the gap, so just kind of drop down. And, and so you're looking at from the top of this flower to, to where the nest part would be, what is that amount? So it's roughly two and a half inches, and you don't have to be exact, but we're just gonna guesstimate two and a half inches is what we will need to drop down, so to speak. So that number probably didn't make a lot of sense at the moment, but just hold on to that number. We're gonna tap sew in zones. And we're gonna say no for now. Uh, we're going to optimize at, remove all, no, okay. And we're going to go ahead and place our, our design. But we're going to do something very unique at this point. Instead of, of having our, um, um, our center top placement be at the top edge, we're going to go ahead and move it up that two and a half inches that we measured. So um, I'm going to go ahead and have my two right there. And, and since I've got the big glide foot there, and now I'm going to place my pattern, okay? So I, what these, ko these koalas represent our quilt top, and this would represent the, the backing, batting, whatever. Um, so now, now that we have our, um, our zone placed two and a half inches higher than what it looks like it should be, we're going to tap on plugins and pattern eclipse. And we want the stitching to start at, at the top edge, that top raw edge of our quilt top. So I'm going to move my needle with where I want those stitches to hit. So I'm going to have it kind of right there at the edge. And I've gone ahead and um, got my needle moved a little bit out of the edge there because I don't, I don't want it really even. I want it out. And I'm going to say add. Okay, so I see the little red dot there. And I'm just going to push it back um, and say add again. And it's cleared the other green line across the top. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move it so I can tell it's, it's past that edge. And I'm going to say add again. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to tap add again. My needle is pretty much even with um, with that raw edge. And, and if the line were a little jagged, you can tell that it is. But obviously, I just laid this up here, so I don't have it laid exact. If you had your top basted down, it would probably be pretty exact. But even then, it wouldn't be a tiny hair of a difference that's never going to matter. Okay, so now we have that selected and the line um, auto-connected back to the beginning point. You could go across and, and add more dots, kind of like fabric comp, but when you're up at the top, it really should be straight. If you've, if you've done your straight line across and have your, have your top aligned to that, that, that should be a pretty straight line. So now, and we have so continuous, and we're going to say, okay, and so now, if I were to hit trace, it would it would start down here. And um, you know, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna go ahead and hit trace. So you'll see. So we hit trace, and the needle's up. Okay, so now you can see it's hitting right right there at the top where it needs to hit, and, and you don't have the gaps in your pattern anymore. So that's how you could also use pattern eclipse for having a partial row at the top. So that's pretty sweet when you're using eclipse mode. So hope you found that helpful.